up, Captains and Cadets? What's up, guys? We haven't been to the showroom for a while, so we are gonna head on in there and see what is new. So let's go. Yep. Right? Let's do it. What's up, Onis, Oosters, and Muds? So we're gonna take a... <laughs> I like it. It's a drop. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna keep that in. That's kind of heartwarming. <laughs> okay, I'm we're proud, gonna. That being proud. <laughs> we're gonna take a. Like, we're gonna take a quick break from like the tutorial videos because we we've done a lot of them. And for all those people who already know of the Play Star Atlas, this is just kind of gonna be like a nice like vacation day. Yeah, we're gonna take a vacation in the showroom. Let's. You want to go to the mud showroom today? Uh, wait. We you can That's choose the, options well, now. Well, we can go to the Oni showroom, or we can go to just. Wait, one. we have options now. I always thought we just had to go to mud one. Yeah, but you know what? I think there might be some kind of cool new vehicles, and maybe it's best that we start at the mud, and then we can go into one of the other showrooms near the halfway through the video. How about that? Yeah, that sounds good. This All is right. just kind of gonna be like new, more showroom yeah, features. Yeah, we just Review. go chill, Review. fly around. Yeah, we'll, we'll have, All right, we'll, Eli just learned that you can interact with. It. Yeah, yeah. I was going over to start start yeah like look at all of these yeah so these are the different badges so depending on when you started playing um star atlas and what you have been doing in star atlas um star atlas has rewarded people with these different badges that they can kind of prove that they've been around for a long time or did something special within the game what did and we, then so what you can do any... is yeah um we have i think the principles badge I, what I does the principles badge? i can't mean? even remember <laughs> but i think that's what we got um, and I think that you, so you can um, actually have these badges displayed if you wanted to um, yeah. set the art. Um, I don't think that we have, let's see. I thought we had, I don't even see our badge, do we? Uh, principles, yes. We, yeah, right here. Set at... All right, so that's our badge. Yeah. And so we can set it there and it can stay there. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, we were going to go over to the museum because I'm like, we're going to start the next video over here. Ah, yeah, at, hey, like last video. <laughs> and we got distracted by art. All right, they've been talking about, I'm not too sure if it's um, actually been implemented or not, but they've actually been fully um, finishing the skins on some of the different ships. And I'm kind of curious if, it's at, if it looks like that in the showroom, because I haven't been in the showroom in so long. And everyone's doing Sage Labs videos. No one's doing Unreal Engine videos. We haven't logged on since the last video, and that's I know, been like a I, month. In the last video, I'm like, oh, I haven't logged on like once a week. And of course, Sage Labs came out, and poor showroom. <laughs> so It's so cool, too. So let's yeah. go... Uh, Right now, this it's, is, I'll, I'll sh let me take a uh, take control here. Right now, it's just kind of like a glorified ship walking simulator. <laughs> so Calico's, this is one of the ones Calico's that they said is skin. So I don't know. We can try it. It's gonna be fun to try to play the only owned. How come it says I only own this one? We, we, Did I log into the wrong wallet. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. So basically, what happened? We think is that daddy has all of his ships according to an expert that's daddy in, <laughs> in in sage labs and we don't know how to take them out so we're just gonna do what well, we do but it, apparently it's hard we're just gonna test flight stuff yeah so this is an, an interesting thing i just realized um so i noticed um in my profile when i put everything into sage labs and i went to my profile it usually shows your top three um uh, most valuable assets and those assets weren't in my profile anymore once i put all my ships into sage labs and so now we are over here in um the unreal engine 5 showroom and apparently i don't i put all my ships in sage labs i can't fly any of my ships over here in the showroom so that's really kind of interesting so we'll have to uh we'll have to think about about this if we ever want to make any future videos yeah. um unless it's just a, a little oops but it kind of makes sense you shouldn't be able to play ships in two different games right if you're playing yeah, it would be kind of yeah. dumb it feels like right it would be an overlap so that makes sense why it works that way so which ships so what we can do is um oh you can test for like the crab you yeah. can be the crab we should, i want to test by two t t tofu the, that's the the tofu tofu feist that's my favorite one of my favorite planes of all and this is the one that i always like kind of joke that can it's kind of like the millennium falcon it's we, the bio serp and then that big pack like this one's awesome this one has an arcade inside of it which one should we start with what, uh, you wanna do, what do you want to do you did the crab before but you can do the crab again can i ask you something can you yeah or you can have you ever done the you haven't done the floyd liner in a long time we can I do have. the floyd liner let's show, there's let's, a squid inside of that one did somebody say squids used to be able to milk them yeah. in old minecraft Ooh, squid milk rose yeah it was a meme do you want to set this ship and minecraft. try it out yeah this one's pretty cool this is a big ship okay let's I can't let's, remember i think this is a large oh uh, might be goodness. medium but i might be a medium size or okay, it might be large okay beyond the 
Beyond the Horizon lore here. When we first oh, played this, ship looks there was a wonky beautiful. collision on this, and we and if you drive this into the soil, there's a whole underground map that we saw. I don't think we got any footage of it, but there's like a whole hidden underground cave thing under this map, yeah. I believe. I think that you enter in the front. I'm not sure. Uh -oh. Let's go look around. Three, <laughs> two, one from the top. Let's go. All right, Hello. so we got it down. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. It took a second. It's it's really you know, it's kind of easy once we figure it out. But sometimes you got to walk around these ships and find where the doors are because the doors are pretty well hidden. Yeah. All right. Is, you is like it close the gate behind them? Uh, oh, why do I? I did. Why did I do this again? All right. Ah. Uh, so cool. If it looks like I'm using did the. You see the milkable squid? Is this squid milkable? I, I wish maybe. I could remember the name. It's got actually got a name. Also, if we're walking around, we're weird. I'm not too sure if it's a pet or is it a pet or a statue. Look at the there and unreal. Oh, it's even got like smudges. Like they gotta clean clean the window there a little bit. It's so yeah. cool. <laughs> if, you, if you're wondering why I'm walking around weird with a camera, that's because we have it inverted. Because that's how you have to use it with the ships. But it makes it kind of hard to. Yeah, I'm gonna around. sound like a broken record here. Every time we uh, play Star Alice, I'm gonna keep saying something. And I, I gotta go into the Discord and actually see if I can reach the Unreal Engine team. But we would really love a separate invert for flight controls and a separate invert for flying around. Because when we're flying, all all the games that we play on Xbox, the flying feels better inverted. But when we're walking around, it's like the exact opposite. Like this is the exact opposite controls of one of our favorite games, Fortnite. So when you go to look up, you're looking down. When you go to look down, you're looking up. So it's all wonky. But when we fly, it feels great inverted, yeah. right? Yeah. So if we could have a separate Y axis for um, flight controls as opposed to um, walking around, that would be fantastic. Yeah, you'll just be like, hey guys, today we're going to be playing another and Please invert the flight controls. Ah, hey guys, take a look. It's like you found the bathroom, you found this is, the this sleeping is, quarters, this is the our personal co computer. Wait, is that texture just the same, but then they repeated it a million times? It kind of looks cool. Yeah. I'm I'm playing Star Atlas on Star Atlas computer. <laughs> All right. Let's go past the milkable squid. Milk, milk, milk. I got a big old glass of milk, milk, milk. It helps me grow. Is that gonna become a weird thing? Or like, they're gonna in the lore descriptions. Is, is it Joshua who runs that? Josea. 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 Sorry, yeah, sorry, Josea, sorry. Josea. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's I missed like spelled like. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's spelled like Jose, but in Brazil they pronounce it Josea. Or Jose or Josea. Da, 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 Pretty cool. Now I'll put up the landing gear for you. Okay, let's let, let's have some fun because ships can't explode yet. I thought L was landing gear. Ships can't explode yet. Da 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 I really hope ships don't explode because if it's like Oh you're bored. Floyd liners. Right. Um, we'll be right back. We're gonna test flight something else. And we're still the showroom. Yep, and we're still better than Atlas Theory. Oh, oh Save yeah. Lab Showdown 2. Yeah. I'm still waiting to make an animation for it once it happens. <laughs> Gee, Daddy, did anybody use our star path link? No, son. Not today. Oh, shucks. Gee, Daddy, what if we could make a rig and that would make people use our star path link? I think the best thing to do would just be to ask people nicely. Gee, golly, Daddy, I think you're right. Please, everybody, use our star path link. It helps us out. All right, so we are going. We are in the Oni space station right now. Can I see my first reaction? The Central Space Station. Uh, yeah. Let's just grab a ship real fast and set Can, it. What's Walmart the smallest one that we can use? Um, this one right here. Okay. Which is still pretty big. So we are going to use the Fimble BIOS Erp. This is the one that Dad's like the. Feels oh. like it's the Millennium Falcon. Whoa. Oh, it's so nice and smooth to control. It's yeah. like a butter. Ooh, this looks yeah. Smooth like butter, like a creamy egg on the cover. So this is the only um, central space station. Um, it's actually behind you is actually like the, the living area, the, c um, the city. This is kind of like a, I believe it's like a dock where all the ships would fly into it. Yeah. Like hey. a space dock. See all the ships kind of yeah. docked there. Hey, if you're a newer Star Atlas person, if you look on the, uh, what side is it? I think it's left. Uh, that side? Yeah. The one with all the oh, fuel yeah. and stuff. If you look in there, you can see like a temperature meter. And if you and that's how fast you're going in like your engine so that's kind of one of the most important things because it tells you how fast you're going 
and also like how much that you're putting you, into uh, it. Yeah, it tells you how when you can boost again. I yeah, think, I believe when it's overheated. So this is again this. So the, this is an experimental mode. They haven't quite put all the textures and quite finished this uh the city yet, but it, it's gonna look really cool. I'm trying to get cool flying shots in case you make a music yeah. video soon. Mm. Oh. So how does the air feel? I like the air. I think oh, it's cool. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh, you're pretty good at flying the air, actually. Look at you go. I don't even have the UI up right now. <laughs> oh. I like this dome that's going yeah. over the uh, the city. It's pretty cool. If Star Atlas becomes really big, it's important that we get beta footage because there won't, probably won't be it or we'll be the only ones with capable of getting, like, the files to actually, like, run these older versions. <laughs> and there's going to be diff different districts mm -hmm. in the Sony C Central Space Station. I um I can't remember. Ah, I wish I could remember the, the different districts, but I think there's multiple different districts. And um, so we have a base tier habitat for all three central space stations, which means that we are going to be able to warp back to the central space station anytime that we want in order to do like any type of trading or fuel up or anything like that. It's kind of a nice thing to have. Um, and dad has all three because I kind of want to do content on all three central space stations. In the you know, future. it'd be awesome. What's that? If like, if I, I don't want it to be like, like too much. Oh, look at those landing docks. Yeah. I don't want it to be too much money, but like maybe like it, like NFTs, like limited edition certain stuff for doing certain things like like almost like victory umbrellas in fortnite where if you like win a certain amount or do a certain thing then you get a limited time thing for like a certain amount of time maybe it'll be like wallpapers or stuff or mm, bunch yeah. bob yellow paint color <laughs> i don't know they but... have given out some uh, wallpapers already they gave out um it's like hab paint is what they call yeah. it for your habitat and they gave out some of that for escape velocity not too long ago yeah and they gave out another one i can't remember what it's for it's called dream yeah but being Pretty cool, but yeah, it is a nice little prize that, you yeah. know, when you get something like that. Sorry, I'm gonna... It lets you know that you're old school. Yeah. I just want to say this. In, like, in Minecraft, if you can tell if somebody has an old account, if they have, like, a cape or something. And being able to do that with Star Atlas will be nice, because then you can kind of, like, show how long you've been doing it. And maybe, like, put it in, like, a trustworthy thing, too. That would be cool. Like, if you blow somebody's ships, then your reputation goes down. But if you, like, give people stuff, then it goes up. <laughs> Like, yeah, unfortunately, the whole uh, the whole deal of, state of uh, Star Atlas, you're supposed to blow people's uh, ships up. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe like it will give you like a reputation. It's like yeah, and you, peace act, and or they do have rep reputation um, uh, XP coming up in in the next uh, iteration of the game. It's gonna be pretty cool, actually. The funny thing is, I wonder like what the next major update will be because uh, the showroom. 2.0 when will like 3.0 i think, think 3.0 is that one that has the race mode it's gonna be really cool that we were just talking yeah. about i can't wait for that have we ever told this story of like i might just want to just watch people do the races i think it's gonna be fun to, for our, everyone to get together everyone that dad talks to on twitter x and you know people that we know from discord and sage labs and stuff like that they're all gonna be together like jumping around the fun thing cool. the fun thing is it's like we don't talk about this very much but we're not like the shyest people i say sorry every time i accidentally do something <laughs> even slightly wrong and daddy's too scared to play with other content creators so if we do something big like that <laughs> if we do something it's big not that like i'm that. too too scared i'm like i really don't even know uh how to do it <laughs> i'm so busy all the time i don't even know how to use discord i'm like ah i'm like make a video or figure out how to use discord make a video i should make a video on how like uh, uh with other content creators so that would be a if, lot of if, fun. if somebody wants to start a rivalry with us Make a video called How to Use Starless Discord for Beyond the Horizon. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> Someone messaged me the other day and was like, oh, I messaged you on Discord, and I'm trying to figure out how to message him back, and I'm like, woo! <laughs> Are you like an ape using a keyboard? Oh, I'm worse than an ape. I'm like a worm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. This is a pretty, pretty environment, though. I can't wait to see yeah. this one all. So, it's funny because they don't really do... Um, well, so far they haven't like kind of like just updated the showroom so much as like they more do this like big huge reveal like we've only had it happen one time you know but they came up with the first showroom and man when they released this 2.0 it was like it was crazy how many different where are you it was crazy i don't know how many different things they added to it it's, so it's if you're new to star atlas and you're watching this um there's probably gonna be a lot of ogs in the well i feel weird calling us an og but we we're we're more like a big central part of the community uh that sounds so weird to say <laughs> we're a big part of the community me and you, you mean? yeah like we're, like we 
But like, well, we're slowly being accepted yeah. by the community. We're slowly getting some followers, but, right? Yeah, we but got, we're up to over 400 people have subscribed to our channel. That is, that Dad's a very humble person, so I, I, I take it to heart that that is amazing that 400 people want to listen to you and Dad flap our gums all the time. Yeah, can I say something <laughs> funny? I'm not gonna mention names here, but one of the other Star Alice creators subscribed to us and made them and made us overtake them in subscribers. Remember that? We yeah. didn't say anything, but we were like, we were almost at like a certain subscriber count, and then the guy we were trying to beat, but we we well, didn't have a trying to beat, but I was like, I was like trying to see like. Oh, I'm almost as far as this one person. Like, I almost have many, as many subscribers as that one person. That just a couple away, and all of a sudden, that person ended up being my like subscriber of, on that number. And actually, <laughs> actually, we tied him up. Yeah, we tied him up. Yeah, that was, really that was cool. so that was weird. Really, it was really weird. It was kind of funny because I just mentioned it to you like the day yeah. before. You know, people don't like. I don't. I people don't really know. But notice. it's not a competition. That's why Dad always talks about all the other. Um, content creators and all my uh, recap videos. I want us all to grow together and be a wonderful, huge family. I think Except that... for Atlas Theory. Oh! oh. What a... we, we took a pause on uh, Sage yeah. Lab Showdown, so we could be nice to Atlas Theory. So you yeah. can say hi to him. He's awesome. Hi, Atlas Theory. Awesome if theory. you're watching this, put, put post this frame on your Twitter. I don't know. Ah. Hi, okay. Atlas Theory. Here's we actually really love you, but Here's once we start the showdown again, you're dead meat, man. <laughs> dead meat. <laughs> I mean, he, is he older in the community then? Oh, that sounds so weird. Is he the older, like, person in the community, or are we just, like, like. Oh, the, sorry. He's been around the, since the very, very, very beginning. Are the, we, like, the young, like, hip content creators? Yo, bro, we got this many Yo, man, we're so hip. <laughs> I'm king, and they know it. When I snap my fingers and these bodies say short. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're not young. Well, yeah, that's old. Yeah. I'm old as dirt. You're young. Mm -hmm. Yo, man, what's up? Yo, man, what's up? We're the hip guys. We figured out that if we say bro more, then our video gets oh, more yeah, recommendations. We yeah, one of the uh, Fortnite guys, he's always like, bro, that's off the hook, bro. <laughs> off the hook, bro. And he, bro, what? He says that like every other word, and he's got the huge huge but well, we can say who it is it's cypher pk on fortnite yeah but we realized that 90 percent of what cypher pk says is bro that's off the hook and he just says it over and over again so maybe we can try the same thing bro look at this grayscale texture it's off the hook man bro <laughs> go check that out bro no way bro no way what bro look at there's a triangle in the corner i'm not gonna lie man i'm not gonna lie i think this is awesome bro i'm off not the hook. i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna lie we have to shut down the xbox lie. control every time we reload star atlas bro <laughs> It's totally off the hook, bro. It's off the hook. It's actually not so off the it's, hook. That's the glitch. So hopefully we're going to fix that. In it's, the third. it's probably the thing that single so, handedly hey, takes so what is, uh, time. Let's see if they fix the other thing that we were talking about. Uh, what's, what's, um, this is going to be so boring to watch. Wait, our commentary is the only thing keeping this interesting right now. <laughs> we're just like, woo, look at a ship. It's flying around in Yeah, circles. you know what? With that, we should, I probably should. Uh, it, this this is more like just, a Yeah, this, this was just I was like. This was like, just more of a podcast. <laughs> this. Just slap like a podcast word, PNG. And let's turn this into a monthly podcast. Oh, this one is so totally like where a podcast is actually. <laughs> just, is. Just, just make it like a pod. Ooh. Just be like, Whoa. we ask. I can imagine the I can imagine the title. We accidentally made a podcast in Star Atlas. Hashtag OG Star Atlas fam. <laughs> totally you're off the hook. Yeah, bro rad. All right. <laughs> we are beyond the horizon. We love you all. What do you say? Please subscribe, right? Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm, and I'm hit that like button because it really helps us out when you hit that like button yep. and more people see our videos. I'm and we really still, appreciate that I'm so much. Still making even more subscribe animations. At this point, it's gonna be like Hmm, let me use a randomizer to pick the subscribe animation. Huh. So, yeah, one last thing before we go. Yeah, Eli's uh, animations are just getting so, so awesome. And he's excited about I'm a new like... Procreate app that's coming out soon. Um, Please, so Procreate, give it to me. He has not been making videos on his channel because he's going to change up his channel and make an animation channel. Um, even if you keep the same name, Dark yeah. Cloud Productions. I don't want I don't want totally my different. first vid animation video to be really like bad. So then like in like a month, he'll be like, that was terrible. So I'm just waiting for it to come out so I can... Make that and then post all the animations I've already made. So. Oh my gosh, we're gonna end this I, podcast, dude. I know. <laughs> um, Later, guys. Later, guys. Adios. This is the perfect <laughs> podcast.